A day of ice fishing starts early, around 6 o'clock. Once at the lake, all the gear is unloaded and a location on the lake is picked. While some fishermen use ATVs and snow machines to cover lots of ground on the lake, others use their own two feet. The ice this time of year is around 12 to 18 inches thick and can support the weight of a car. The ice hut provides an escape from the elements. When fishing for large lake trout, lures called tube jigs are used. After setting up everything in the hut and rigging the rods, it is time to start fishing. After fishing in the hut for a while, a new spot is picked and the hut is left as a home base. When the weather allows, it can be nice to fish outside. An ice auger is used to drill holes in the ice. After drilling new holes, the water depth is checked with the transducer. If it looks like a good spot, the fishing continues. Watching the transducer for signs of fish, lures are jigged up and down. The lines on the graph represent an object in the water. The new spot pays off with a small brown trout taking the lure. Ice augers have sharp blades on the bottom which shave the ice away. Small jig head hooks and soft plastic baits make a great combination and are very enticing to a hungry trout. A rainbow trout took the bait this time. When a large fish takes the bait, it is easy to tell. The distinct sound of a fish pulling drag on a reel is an indication of a bigger fish. On this day, angler Mason Schultz was rewarded with his personal best lake trout. After a long, successful day, all the gear is packed up and hauled across the ice, ready for another day of ice fishing.